Hello and welcome back to another episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? No, it's not. It's, it's really not. You know, I haven't actually watched the new series of that. I really should sort that out. This is going to be a horrible start if I have to go in and actually equip my soldiers because... Oh, fuck. I don't even have enough people. I am a failure. Such fail. All, all, all the fail. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I've, I've got them and I've got my bot. So, yeah, go me. I am wonderful at this. Oh my god, fucking hell. I've just got a power set. So, it's only a landing. It'll be alright. I'm just going to get up pretty quick, I imagine. Oh, mind probe. I will probably never use it. But I can interrogate the fuck out of a muton. Which is kind of like interrogating an orc, but there you go. Except with even less point. Because I don't even think the mutons in this can actually talk. Anyway, Sky Ranger away, night mission, goddammit. Uh, I really hope that wasn't coming in for a. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, just, just go back. Go back, there's no point. It'll get up at its own time. At its, in its own time, I think I meant to say. And I can chase you. I can chase you so hard. Ah, yes, got you. Even better. I get to take down a larger UFO, so that all the benefit of that. And I don't even have to go and pillage it. Because you saw last time, that just takes ages. So long. Anyway, I'm going to have to... I, I really don't want to delay this again, but... You know, it's I, I can't go in to an alien base without a full set. This is not good start. This is terrible start. This is worst start ever. As the kids like to put it. Poets of our time. Oh god damn it, don't do this. Urgh. Okay. Hopefully Jessie will see someone because she didn't have to go round the the thing. I not enough. Yes. Okay. Now what shall we do with everybody else? I might just have to make this an extra long episode if I'm gonna fit the uh, alien base thing in. Because I don't want to keep putting this off, but at the same time, a mission came up. I'm sorry, guys. It's just it's how it works. Them is. The apple bricks. Fuck, I don't even know. So I'm gonna actually take a moment as well to say I'm pretty much sorry for last time round. I had to listen back to it and it was depressing, quite frankly. Depressing as hell. But I can't help that. It was a pretty shitty time. <laughs> there was some utter wankers who in uh, another life might have been labelled terrorists. But right now they're just wankers. Causing a bit of havoc in my city centre. I don't like when that happens. I'm generally not agreeable to such things. Oh dear. I, I don't think getting high ranks makes you somehow get a dodge move, but... In my head, Scott was just like cartwheeling all over the fucking place. Yes, anyway. So I apologise for putting up a very depressing episode, but that is exactly how I felt at the time. And given this is a bit more raw and personal compared to the other things I do, like prepared vlogs or reviews, it just felt right to continue and just put that up. I did honestly consider not putting it up. Because it's hardly relevant. I mean, my audience, according to Google or YouTube analytics, is mostly American. Not that no Americans are taking interest. There's a couple of people uh, who were geek and sundry co-workers of Scott who were taking an interest, who were asking him about it, wishing him luck and etc. And, well, frankly, I'm sure he's told you also, but on behalf of me as well, thank you those people. I really wish I knew a damn thing about 
your politics. Other than Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney's an arse. So much of an arse that I can't even be bothered pronouncing his name correctly. Just so much arse. I don't know why I just went straight for that. Maybe I should actually bring people along while I'm singing a song. No, I'm not. Nobody wants to hear that. Especially not a song that's unprepared. That's just, it's just not jolly. Don't want to be doing that. I think I'll move these people up a bit. Maybe they'll not only have a vantage point, but makes them less likely to get shot. Yay. Back a bit here. Although it's Jessie and she's a badass and she will survive everything ever. Doop, doop. It is a small point in XCOM. If you don't care about individual soldiers, it does get a bit boring because you lose so few people when you're doing missions, especially these. These are like routine, quite frankly. So routine that I'm going to do something different and potentially dangerous. Because whilst they are probably safe all the way back there, they shall not be safe here. Not as safe anyway, but it does put them in the position I want them in, which, 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 whichever way it which will go. How do I sentence? We'll put them in a position to basically swanny in there and shoot the bastards on my next turn. That is the plan. I planned it. There we go. Only one person out of place, but just one square to go. I think we're good. Which I've never said when there's a fucking floater in my face. Christ, I never thought I'd say that. Okay, good people in the corners, man those corners. Sort of differently man those corners, but in a equally important way. Doop -doop -doop. Um, yeah, we'll add more here. Seems good. If I had a symmetrical number of people, this would be even better, but I don't. Because soldiers hadn't arrived yet. Probably, I can't actually remember from last time. It's been an entire weekend, guys. I forget things. Doop -doop 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 -doop. You know, this spaceship, despite being uh, something you encounter fairly early on, massive pain in the arse. You've seen it. You've seen people get shot through those doors. You know, alien just swannies in, shoots somebody, walks back out again. Nay harm, nay foul. And it just annoys me. I would actually ex probably be less pissed off if my XCOM soldiers shot each other, quite frankly. That would at least make sense, because I'm setting them up like this, so, you know, it, it probably is exactly what would happen. They'd shoot each other in the crossfire, Alien wouldn't even have to put his finger on the trigger. Tentacle on the trigger, whatever the fuck they've got. Depends on the Alien, anyway. And for some reason, both my good soldiers go here. And the other side has less people, because that's completely fair. This ain't a democracy. We're saving the fucking earth. No time for any way other than the way which is mine. There's probably a better way to put that. Uh, poke your head in, will you, son? Magic. Right, stick me there. You can probably let that way, son. And we're, there we go. Scott's got points, he can go there. So everyone's going to be in the control room or hiding outside the goddamn ship again. That was annoying. Did not want that to happen. Also not particularly keen on the idea of these uh, lovely computer banks and navigation getting shot up, but that's just a risk I take. And quite frankly, this is starting to look like my dream throne room, so... 
should probably get this over quick before my world domination plans get into get in the front of my mind once more. I've tried to contain them so long. I'm actually finding a number of formations that suit uh, an odd numbered squad for once. You know what? I will experiment. No, the uh, the doors are pretty solid. How about these? Mm-hmm. Waiting it is. Come on. You'll come after me now. Or maybe now, actually. I'm not sure. Wait, what? Right, here we go then. Ah. Yep, they've done it again. Quick, 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 quick. People get to the doors. Get to the doors. Shooty bang aliens. Incoming. Coming in the way. No, don't go there, actually. No, that's a terrible idea. No. There we are. This is actually a bit more nerve-wracking because now I know the aliens are coming for me. And I don't know where from. But I do know that one of them just opened a door. So that's not good. And, oh dear, I've put both of my good soldiers on this side again. Uh, okay, that's fine. Pile in, boys. And Jebs. And Rin. Okay, there was one boy. I got that completely wrong. I should really remember who's in my squad. I know what you're thinking. It's up there at the corner, got it. Yeah, not the way I'm playing it. I'm not playing this with the viewpoint of the you know the the UI and the the names and such. I'm looking at the actual game screen. So just in case you had that in mind, and just in case you were typing a comment, no, no, bad. Stop it. Put the keyboard down and and question why you ever thought it was a good idea to type with the keyboard picked up. There's far easier ways, such as putting it down. What the f God fucking did I, did I look at like there was just somebody in there? Because that's kind of what it looked like to me. <laughs> Tank and Rinry destroyed. Of course you don't have enough. They only had the one and I didn't expect such a rush. Right, more soldiers. Do I even have enough now? Did Yes, I do have enough now. But I need to name these people. And this will just be hilarious because I'm pretty sure both the new oh, fuck. Both the new people are women. Oh wait, not oh fuck, because I can I have got enough, don't I? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How, how did, okay, did one of the power suits get destroyed? Is that how that happened? Because I'm not happy about that. That doesn't make sense to me. And I can't make more because I've got 13 hours left to the Avenger. Oh wait, that's a good thing! Yay! More power suits, because I'm going to need them. Okay, here it is. My solemn vow that come hell High water or Dunstable. I have no idea what that Newton Navigator got me now. Newton Soldier. Ooh, I'll probably forget to press view report again. Come hell or high water, next week. Week? Next time? I can't even get this fucking vow out. How, how does that work? We will be taking on that alien base. Next time. We will be taking that fucker right on. I literally learned nothing from that muton. Fantastic. D don't worry, I'll, I'll take care of that off screen. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Nothing is the matter. Bye bye now.